Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lay Lay's Artistic Jewelry Design. We are going to be making a necklace from Gigi's Treasure Bag of September, the Golden Harvest Collection. And as you can see here, I have a drawing, a sketching of my design. Okay, and this is what we're going to be making. So let me just give you an up close look at the design here. Okay, so this is the pendant. This is the orange bicones that we're going to be using. The green rondelles. Okay, and this the squares is the golden cubes. So I'm gonna be using that. I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using this one. I'm gonna be using that. That is pendant. I'm also going to be using some leaves. Let me see what else. Okay, and the green rondelles. So these are the beads that we're going to be using. Along with some wire guards. Some jump rings. And we're going to be using these right here for clusters. These right here, these little beads right here is going to be made into clusters. So this is going to be our design. Okay, we're going to have some leaves coming off from right here, going in between each of the sections. And then going up, it's just going to be beaded then a chain okay so let me put this down put it back into place and then i'll reveal how it's all gonna look Give me a moment. We have the reveal. So this is how everything will end up looking. Hopefully, when we get done. So this right here is going to be a cluster of beads. Okay. Hanging from the leaf. Isn't that pretty? And it's going to be right there in the section. Let me take this boot, my glove off because you really won't be able to see too much with my glove on. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. So these right here is like the little clusters that I've made already in advance. 
some of them wire wire wrap but the rest would not be wire wrapped okay so these are going to be the little clusters that's going to be hanging from the leaves and i'm going to be putting on about six of them So without further ado, see these is the little bees right here. The orange rondelles, the green rondelles, and the green and red glass bees. Okay, so that's how it's gonna end up looking. And as you see, I already have something that's on a wire, 24 gauge wire. So let's get to making some jewelry here. I got to put everything back like it was. That and that goes right there. See what's missing over here. Nope, the orange missing right there. No, that's about right. That's right there. That's right there. And it goes right there. Make sure my sections are right. So, green goes right there. Okay, so what we're going to be making, we're going to be making some little clusters. Well, the little clusters are already made, so what we're going to do, we're going to be stringing them on to this wire. So first, we're going to be making this right here. Okay, we're going to be making this. So that means we're going to have to put on some little beads, put on the clusters, and I want six clusters on. See how can I make this so what you all can see what I'm doing here. This is the cluster. This is what I'm putting on. Okay, a little bee that's already on. So I'm thread it onto the wire. Okay, so that's three. piece of this off. Mm, about that much. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so, so far, this is what we have.
Okay, so that's four right there. Try to get six on here. Five. And that's six. So let's see how six look. See, see we have six little red and green clusters on here. Then I want one at the top. Like that. See, the thing is, you got to try to get them all together so they'll lay right. So, see, that's how it should be. Okay. Now we got to get the round nose pliers. Okay. Backwards. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, then we go. That, and then we just go. Wire wrap it. For me to do that. So, then you want to straighten that up, okay? So, see, I have my little clusters there. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off. Right there. We can do some with that little wire. So now what I have to do is just clean this up. There we go and straighten that up. So that's one. That's one of my clusters. One of my leaves with my clusters. I just gotta get them around here like I need them so that's that one let's see here there we go so that's one leaf with clusters on them down that's part of the design the dangles okay so it's red and green little beads then the leaf and I wire wrapped it so that goes right here to know where it goes okay that went right there I'm gonna do another one it over like that and we're not gonna close it all the way you see we're gonna put the leaf on it gotta get the leaf on okay 
now we have the leaf on. Then we're just going to wrap that around. I don't need to wrap too much, just a little bit. And you really want to push this down. up so I can press this down. Hmm. Well, that didn't quite. Yeah, you're going to see all my mistakes here. But that's okay. One more wrap right here. Gotta make sure I have it down. I mean, I am always trying to do an intricate design here. Right now, this is going to move a lot anyway. Okay. And I don't need all of this. So I'm just going to cut off some of that. Because now I got to get my clusters on. So now we have that on there. Okay, now we gotta get some clusters on. It's one, two, three, four. five and six so we want the clusters to kind of cluster in the front of the leaf 
So you want to gather them up to make sure they're gathering in the front. like that okay so you want them gathering in the front like that then take one bead okay take a bead the same kind of bead then slide it down to anchor them so you want all these beads to be anchored okay you want them to be anchored they all on with straight pins, with head pins, okay? So we got head pins that we wrapped them with. So I got one bead that's coming down right here. See that bead right there at the top? It's to anchor all of these right here so they be kind of in the center and in the front. So... That's the thing right there. So now we're gonna wire wire wrap it. Okay. We're gonna bend it over. 45 degree angle. Okay. Take that. We're gonna flip it back this way. Rotate your wire. You're going to bring it in like that. Okay. Bring it out. And then just wrap. Just wrapping. And I think that's enough. Okay. Yep. That's enough. I don't need too much. Just enough to anchor that bead. Okay. So we're going to cut the excess off. Make sure you don't crack a bead doing this. That can be used for something else. This little scrap right here can be used for something else. So we're just going to set it aside. Clean up this little part right there because we want to go in that way so now we have another cluster made we have another leaf with clusters made I'm doing this. I'm kind of messing up my stuff here. Get things straightened back up. Okay. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we get it figured out. Let's just get these leaves together first. Let's put these little scraps on the set. We're going to do one more of these clusters and then the rest I'll do offline. The rest I'll do off camera. So we can move this video along. Open it up. Let's, see. Let's just do this side right here. Put the leaf on. Get it back closed up. I just close it up like that. And make sure we got it centered like this. So I'm going to hold my hand right there. Because I want to make sure it kind of stays centered while I wrap it. Okay, so. Let's just get it back centered. Because it's going to move on you some. See how it's just moving? I want this wire to kind of stay centered sound for me. So I can wrap it. Get a good tight wrap on it. starting up a little too high on me. I ain't the best rapper, I'll tell you that now. Some days I had do good rapping and some days I don't. See if I can wrap this.
Okay. I don't need too much. I just wrap it around the back. Get it back centered up here. Okay, there we go. Straighten it out. It ain't perfect, but it's okay. Just gonna clean it up some here. Make sure I stick that in. some of that off two on we have an extra one put it at the top You straighten it up. And try to get those clusters to come to the front. That's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to make sure I got the clusters in the front of this sleeve. So you can take it that way. Flip it over at a 45 degree angle. Then you wire your round nose plier up. Reposition it. Okay. And we're going to wrap it. That's two and three. That's enough. Bring it around the back and cut it off. Okay. That's the third one. So now we gotta cut this piece off right here. That piece is too little to do anything with. Now 
let's see here. Straighten that up. Make sure your clusters is going where you need them. Okay, so that's one more down. So all together we made three clusters. Made three leaves. Is on this part of the, on the part of the design. Okay, the rest I will do off camera. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do two clusters with you. Okay, so that's one. I've already did the other ones. Put it in here. I'm going to roll it. Okay. Now I got to straighten it up. So that's one of the clusters. This is my last one. So I got these the small head pins right here I got from Amazon. Just the right size. turn my pliers around the right way just didn't have that right there come down just a little bit I think I want to come down just uh, and roll it me I always bend the neck back on it Make sure I line it back up and straighten it up. Make sure my little thing, make sure my little hoop there is closed. Uh oh, there we go. I go to the last one of my clusters. Okay. Now we gotta finish doing our leaves. Okay, so we're gonna put the leaf on here. Gotta make sure I stay just like I need on my board. Okay down and 
And I just need to open it up. Get my leaf on there. Close her back up. Just want to wrap it. Okay. I want to do here is just push it down some. Tighten it up. Then we're going to just cut off this little excess right here. that cut off. You just got to clean that up. Make sure you don't prick anyone. Okay. Just try to get it back centered up some here. And I really need to push that down just a little bit more. Okay. Now straighten that back up. So now we put the clusters on. Yeah, I go messing my bees up again. the clusters on here grab one thing of one that's not wired okay make sure you get that back down right sure you doing this the right way here because you want that to be in the front want all your little clusters to be right there in the front so make sure you got it real tight down there just push it down tight as tight as you can go with it Up. 
Make sure you got a good grip. That's how you're going to wrap it. One, two, three. Bring it around to that back. Okay. Cut the excess off. I think that's long enough for me to do another one, but it's okay. So one more down. I don't know how that got messed up like that. That goes right there. And that goes right there. Okay, so that's one right there. Wrap some more wire. Open it up. Get your leaf. Put your leaf on. Close it back up. Make sure you get that leaf back center. Sometimes you can just wrap this with your hand. So I'm going to see if I can just wrap it with my hand. Okay, there we go. Now I just got to center her back up. Cut this excess off. Still feel that. Okay. There we go. Now let's string on some more. One. Two. three, four, five, six, six of them, get an extra one, put on top, and I'm gonna have to move kind of fast with these, okay? Because we already been here for almost an hour now.
while you're watching, please, if this is something, the content that you like and that you're interested in making, please give it a thumbs up. Share with your family or friends. Leave a comment in the comment section. Hit that notification button so the next time you know when I drop a video. We greatly appreciate it. Welcome back my former subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. I appreciate every last one of you. Do not take it for granted. The wire that I'm using is 24 gauge wire. So it makes it a little easier for me to use. back there the little piece get that tucked in okay center this back up a little piece I still feel it good hang it get yourself down okay The last of the clusters. They're simple hoops on these, not wire wrap. I didn't wrap the clusters. So how many I got on here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's almost like grapes, don't it? Gonna look like grapes on the vine. Okay, there we go. Make sure I have everything centered here in front of the leaf. Like I want it. Anchor down. Sure, we got that right. Okay, so last one. It goes right there. Come back there, B. You go right there, right there, right there. And where's my orange one? I'm rolling down. And that goes right there. That and that. Some green. Orange. Green. Gold. Green. Go 
green. Orange. Green, gold. Orange. Green. Gold. Orange. Okay. Got all that taken care of. Let's see. see these is how small the head pins are. And I got these from Amazon. I'll put the link on there. Because when you use a small um head pins like this, you don't waste a lot of product. Okay, now we're going to have to get wired up here. So give me just one minute. We already have our wire. Okay, we're going to start the wiring process. We're going to need crimp bead. So I can get one on here. Okay, so we got the crimp bead. Wire guard. Then you want to put it through the other side of the wire guard. The other piece into the crimp bead. But you got to make sure your wire is not crossed. This is the most challenging thing right here, trying to make sure these wires aren't crossed. I'll tell you. Okay, there we go. Turn. Okay. Make sure you ain't crossed up in there.
Okay, I got it right there. The only thing I'm going to do is just smash mine down. I don't need to crimp it. I don't care to crimp it. I think it'll look just fine like that. Do the pull test. As long as it don't come loose, it's good. So see, it's not coming loose. Now I can just cut it off. So there we go. We're going to string it up. So let's start with one side. Look out, wait a minute. They go one side. It's one bead down. We're gonna put on the gold square bead. So, so far, this is what we have. This is what we have so far, okay? Okay, so I need to go... bead on there. Orange faceted bead. And we're going to put this on the cluster, the leaf cluster on there. But you're going to have to make sure you get it lined up just right. Going the right way. Which I am thinking... Here. I may have put another one on the other side. This is the tricky part right here, skipping these clusters around. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to put another one. Can't do that because I don't have that many. This is where the deciding factor come in. Hmm. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting it lined up now. So far, this is what we have. We're going to put it on a low champagne square. And I just had to do some figuring out how I was going to do it. Because it wasn't quite coming out of right at first. Okay, so there we go. So now we're going to put on a green one. Uh -uh, something just happened here. I got caught up that goes over there. Okay, then the orange. Okay, then another cluster. Okay, it looks alright so far. It's just the clusters. You just got to get them right. Okay. Another gold. This necklace is time consuming, so I'll let you know that. Dealing with the clusters, you got to make the... The little clusters are going to leave. You have to wrap the leaf and then put the clusters on it and then bead. So it does take time to do this one, okay? But I'm not going to keep you all very long. So I'm going to finish the rest of this offline, off the camera, and I'll be back. Just so you can see, this is what I'm working on, okay? Okay, we're doing the centerpiece now. This is our focal. Okay, bend it back. Bring it over.
Okay, so we're going to fold it like this. Okay. Got to make sure it's centered. Then we're going to wrap it. So we got to make sure we straighten that up. Get a good grip on this baby. Okay, there we go. So this is our this is our focal right here, okay? Let's see if you can see it. That's the focal. Let's cut the excess wire off. Tuck in any little sharp pieces. I don't want nobody getting poked. Okay. So this is our center focal right here. So now we're going to have to string it on. See if I got it the right way. Nope, I don't. Well, that should be the right way. Yep, that's the right way. Okay, so we got that on. Sorry for such the long um, video. I apologize for that. But when you're trying to do this, it's going to take a little time. So excuse the long video. So I'm going to try to be quick about beating the other half of this. It's not on my magic rod, so this makes it a little bit more long than I need for it to be. Let me move all this out of my way. So I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Two. Go. Now we need a cluster. We need our cluster right here. We can be on. Hopefully it's turned the right way. And it's not. again. Okay, we got that on there.
much. Oh, I dug the hair. Need a bit green. Green coin bit. In another cluster. Then another go. Okay, let's see what we have here. So we don't need those. Gonna make sure everything's lining up right. Focal in the center. Okay. That's just about right. And my 14. I'm gonna say 14 here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're gonna put a crimp bead on. So we have our crimp bead here. It's so small and tiny. the wire guard on
bring it back down through there through the other side push it through your crimp bead There we go on the crimp bead. Come on, the crimp bead. Put it in there. Okay. Make sure they're not crossed up. Okay. So we're going to just bring this down because we got to go through some beads here. This is what I do. I just bring my bees up to me. And I gotta make sure they're not cross. Okay. Make sure I got some movement in my beads here. that close okay we got that like that and I just want to come up out of this some Feet down some. I don't think I'm doing it's just smashing the crimp bead. Okay, I gotta find it first. Okay, there we go. So it's not quite on there like it should. Okay, now the other one went on just fine. This one want to act up. So let's see. Make sure I have it on there good. Because I don't need my beads falling off. Let's do the tug test. Okay, it's on there. I got bees dropping everywhere. Let's cut this excess wire off. What I'm using is seven strand. Seven strand nylon coated wire. This is what we have so far. So you gotta make sure you straighten that back up. Straighten that back up. And now we're your focal. Okay, and we got that. Now what I do want to do is just turn that around some. Okay. So far, this is what we have. Okay, and the rest is going to be chained on there. So I'm going to put some chain on there. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to close it up now. So we're putting jump ring on there. Okay, one side, 
you have chain that we're connecting to it. Okay, then we're going to put another jump ring right here. I'm going to put the toggle on. See, we're going to put the toggle on. So we're putting the toggle on now. The chain is from my own stash because the other chain was a little too dark. Okay, so here we go with the, that part of the toggle on. Okay, now we got to put the other part of the chain on. Separate these two. Add on. Hook it right there. Oops. Let's make sure it's on there. That just got a little crazy right there. Okay. Let's put the other jump ring on there. And call it a wrap. Because this necklace took a little time. Yes, it did. Took some time. I think I'm going to add a second jump ring on here. Just to make sure that toggle. Has some room. Then this camera don't want to focus. Focus. Hey, I'm about ready to close this and the camera don't even want to focus. Come on, camera. Focus for me. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and close this anyway. So now we got the other part of that toggle on. There we go. And I do apologize for such a long video. Get it in there. Okay, we're gonna put it in there. That's why I wanted the second one on there. Uh oh, let's see. I don't think the second one went on there right. 
Nope, it didn't. That's just dangling. Gonna take it off then. Go ahead and close it up. Toggle in. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna move this. See how everything looks now. It's a beautiful necklace. I'm going to focal my leaf with the clusters. I'm going to turn it around this way so you can get a good look at it. And I'm going to zoom big out. That way you can get a good view of the entire necklace okay that is a beautiful necklace take you in just a little bit closer see everything put up on my pendant with the red and the yellow colors and then I have a green coin bead two bike cones I have a gold champagne square right there a green rondelle facet rondelle another green diamond shaped bike cone and then the gold beads, my cluster, my lease with the clusters right here. And that's about six on each leaf. Six clusters on each leaf. So we have all the colors of the fall. You got a little brown and red and green, orange and gold, like a yellowish gold. You got that color down here in the pennant as well. We have a gold, a gold link chain with a floral toggle okay and up here it just goes green orange green orange green orange gold green orange gold okay so I'm zoom you back out I want to thank everyone for being patient okay we want to turn around this way Okay. Thank you everyone for being patient. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Once again, I apologize for the long video. Go out and be a blessing to someone today and you be as blessed as well. Thank you for stopping by my channel.